one thing you must know as a Christian, when the Holy Spirit is a teacher, we must be a student. Amen. Amen. When the Holy Spirit is a teacher, if you don't want to be a student, there is a problem. Amen. One thing you must know. There was the Holy Spirit among them. And Jesus and Jesus' disciples, there was, there was, with the master, with the head, with the Alpha and Omega, Amen. with the first and the last. Amen. Huh? With Amen. the mighty king of Israel. Amen. It was they. But they didn't understand who Christ is. Mm. They didn't understand. Therefore, from among of them, from among of from among one of the disciples, he rose up. To do what? He wanted to exchange Jesus to the money. My, my, my surprise is sometimes, my surprise, when somebody is playing a game over your life, you are watching, then you support that person who is destroying your career, who is destroying your family, who is destroying your nation, who is, but you are, when you are clapping and supporting that. Huh? I want to give you an example, the king of Judah, until he came to the king of Israel, the king was enjoying with 400. Eh? False prophet. Which is a wizard, those who lost the mind of Christ. They was clapping for the king. They are clapping to kill him. They was clapping him to send the Israeli to the war. Inside the war, the Israeli to die. I prophesy this morning. Yes, Lord. Whoever prophesying to die, you life and you children. I send it back Amen. to the center. Somebody say, I'm not dying. I'm, I'm not, not dying. dying. Can you imagine that when the Holy, you lost the Holy Spirit, you become empty. I don't know about you. Me, Amen. once when the Holy Spirit left me, I become empty. I Amen. become tired. I become meaningless. Amen. That is the time I have to fall under the presence of the Lord and cry and ask the Lord to uh, come back to me. Amen. Otherwise, you feel empty. Amen. When there's no Holy Spirit inside of your life, you declare you are a Christian. It's dangerous. You declare you are a Christian. You don't sense. You don't feel the Holy Spirit. You know, atomic bomb is next to you. 